Well, on behalf of the Springfield City School Board, I'd like to welcome you to the Dome. And we're glad that you're here and you can take advantage of looking at the facility, realizing the creativity, the programming, the excitement that we've created by working together. The Springfield City School District operates the Dome as a hub of connected learning. We are connecting youth to the community and in the process, we are helping youth develop the skills they need to be successful in school and after they graduate. One of the most exciting things about the Dome is the fact that we are on the cutting edge of offering programming, offering a facility that very few communities in the state and probably in the country are able to offer. A part that I really enjoy here is that we're part of a national network. We're part of a couple national networks that allow for us to share and collaborate with people in spaces just like ours. I started coming here because I was like, well, this is a really fun place, it seemed. And I thought that I could do a whole bunch of new things here. Coming to the Dome, there's a lot of equipment and it's like nice, good equipment that you can use. And when you see that and you start using it and you get better and you get more proficient at recording and editing the, the um, audio clips, then it becomes, it goes from being a hobby to something that seems more realistic and something that seems like you can actually do it as a profession. So I started coming to the Dome as an intern working in the maker space. We did summer camps with middle schoolers um, and that was very fun. I heard about what transpires at the Dome from some flyers that had been distributed at my son's school. It read something about maker space, that it conducts itself on Tuesdays and Thursdays, told us the grade levels that it was available for, and ever since then we seized the opportunity every time it's presented to us. Every time my children come to the Dome, they want to invite someone. So not only do I bring my two sons to the Dome, I probably end up usually with a carload of children. So I think the best part of my job is the fact that it's so student-centered. If we don't have something that a student really wants, we find a mentor to teach it. We find curriculum. We find all that. We get the resources. We, you know, we basically scour the community to figure out how we can get it here for these students because it's something that is interesting to them and it's going to help them grow. So being a mentor is not the same as being a teacher. Um, I don't have professional uh, teaching experience. I feel like I'm just here to help them along with their creative ideas. Although great learning does happen in the classroom, we are also, as educators, realizing that uh, great learning can also be accomplished out in the community, and the Dome serves as a conduit for those experiences that students may have. One of the greater appreciations that the Makerspace offers is because children don't realize that they're learning. Um, the, the approach is fun, it's out of the box, and they appreciate it. The Dome is the hub of innovative learning for our community. The Springfield City School District offers four unique makerspaces, a bike shop, the U Media Digital Learning Lab, flexible learning spaces, meeting rooms, and the state-of-the-art John Legend Theater. Clark State Community College's food science program, including a food science lab, is here too. These programs are open to the whole community. The mentors here are really, really wonderful people. Me and Miss Antigone are like, it's like we've known each other forever. <laughs> Um, she's really been there for me and she's really been uh, supportive and she helps me a lot when I do my costumes. One thing I've learned is it's not a, a one, one size fits all kind of program. Um, each student is different so I need to basically curate my instruction um, uh, based off of their personality. So getting to know the students on a one, one on one level um, is extremely important to knowing when I should give feedback and when I should just let them troubleshoot on their own. If I had the dome growing up, I would have been here all the time because I never had access to audio equipment until I was maybe 8, 19 or 20. Seeing how the, the students collaborate with one another really uh, just gains a, a better perspective for them and their talents and, and whatever their pursuit is. So like when I first started, it was kind of small time, you know, recording with the voice memo on your phone at the park. 
and it was just kind of something fun to do. Music's a great outlet. You can deal with a lot of things and you can deal with them in a lot of different ways. You can go about it and you can just go on a track and talk about like what's making you feel the way you're feeling and how it affects you. Psychologically speaking, music has helped me out a lot because I don't know where I would be if I didn't write the songs that I did whenever I felt kind of bad about myself or my situation. Coming up to the dome and making my own songs, um, after I release those songs, when I go to school, like a lot more people kind of recognize me for that. And you know, that makes you feel good at the end of the day that your peers acknowledge you for something that you've done and they say that it was pretty good. Lawrence is most certainly confident when he's recording um, and it really brings out who he is as a person. He was complimented by John Legend last week. So I think he's gonna wear that proudly the rest of his life. As an educator, it is important to me that my students know what they want out of life. The Dome provides them opportunities and experiences that cannot easily be accomplished in the classroom. They become more independent learners, they see their strengths and their weaknesses. Um, they are motivated to persevere through something that is possibly difficult uh, or that they struggle to understand. But if they have a passion for something, um, they are taking the time and uh, benefiting from the activities at the Dome. So I think that it will stir up the hunger within children to want to become more than athletes. They'll want to become CFOs, they'll want to become CEOs, they'll want to become business owners, entrepreneurs. Um, they'll just want to venture out. I think it will stir up a more academic hunger within the children, and I think and hope that that academic hunger will become contagious to other kids and children and students within the community. Going into these workshops, I didn't know anything about technical theater. Um, it was just something I was always interested in. I remember being a kid, and going to concerts and going to shows and seeing the people behind the board and wanting to know what they were doing, wanting to be the fly on the wall in that situation. Um, and now I actually do get to do that. I started off just going to the workshops. Um, there, are, there are six in total. Um, and then once I finished the workshops, I started interning um, and I just grabbed onto every single show I could. Um, and now I actually work here. Now I think I know a pretty good amount. Um, and I, I'm actually interested in going to Wright State and studying it um, and maybe finding a career in it. Once you see the students participating, the professional development taking place, the collaboration between a variety of entities, I think you two will be excited by what we've created in our community. I encourage everyone to find out what's happening in the Dome and how you can play a role in building a brighter future for the greater Springfield region.